everybody ask me who's next, we're next on Big Game Coverage, KSAT 12. Yeah. Love it. Thank you, Goldberg. That was awesome. The wrestling great was hanging out at Bernie ISD Stadium tonight with the champion Chargers. We're hosting the Smithson Valley Rangers in our game of the week, Mary. And Charger Nation was hoping to hand the Rangers their first district loss of the season as both sides chase the District 12 5A D1 championship. Let's get to those highlights. First quarter, Chargers running back Cole Rhea powers his way in for a short score and champion leads 7 to nothing. Smithson Valley answers back with the ground attack. Brad Sowersby gets outside and he just gets inside the pylon 14 yards of this game is tied at seven how about a high five kid later in the first frame here come the chargers qb jordan ballin throws a nice ball to campbell to Barry. perfect toss and catch 32 yard touchdown and it's 14 to 7 chargers but the rangers slowly pull away from there cade spradling two yard touchdown run and the rangers lead at 21 14 third quarter now ballin goes back to pass he throws and the rangers nicholas dudzikowski intercepts the ball and he takes it back for a touchdown now we sped it up for timing reasons folks and the rangers take this one 49 to 14. we made adjustments at halftime but it was really all about just being us all right we played our brand of football for four quarters and uh, that's our deal we're going to play for four quarters and you got to hang with us so it was great to do that bernie champions a great football team they're very well coached so that was a great game playing them Let's go to Orem Stadium where the third ranked Alamo Heights Mules were hosting the Edison Golden Bears in District 14 5A2 action. First quarter, the Mules are leading 7 to nothing. when they get more. The handoff goes to running back DK Garza. He gets a big hole thanks to his offensive line and he breaks off a 25-yard touchdown run to make it 14-0 Mules. And the Mules roll 73-6 to stay undefeated. The Brackenridge cheerleaders entertaining their side at Alamo Stadium tonight. The Eagles were facing the Sam Houston Hurricanes. First quarter, Canes with the ball and leading 14 nothing. The handoff goes to Jaden Cervantes. He runs to his left, cuts up the field, stop, pushes a dude out of his way. Here it comes. Get out of my way, bro. Then runs down the sideline for a 39-yard touchdown. Best run nominee right there. Sam Houston leads 21 nothing, and they win 42 zip. Check out the second ranked Reagan Rattlers entering Comalander Stadium to smoke. Always a cool entrance. The Rattlers are playing the Churchill Chargers in District 28-6A. First quarter, Reagan up 7 to nothing when they double their lead. Handoff goes to the very dangerous Cole Pryor. He finds an easy path to the end zone, 18 yards to make it 14 0 Rattlers, and Reagan wins in a shutout, 38 to nothing. All right, MacArthur and Kyle Lehman are both looking to bounce back from some tough losses last week, and both are winless in district action thus far. Take a look at those Texas size homecoming moms out at Hero Stadium. It's Lobos QB, Colin Richardson with a quick toss to Noah Long for the touchdown. That drive started with great field position thanks to a big Amir Washington kick return, and Kyle Lehman goes on to win it in shutout fashion. 42 to 0. Time to visit Lenhoff Stadium now where New Braunfels is trying to spoil Clemens 2 and 0 district record. The Unicorns looking to go to the air, but Slayton Adams's pass is intercepted by Damian Robinson who weaves his way through would-be tacklers before getting wrapped up at the three yard line. That would set up Raquan Ruffin for the easy rushing TD. It would take over. Oh, how about that double overtime tied at 24? We'll see a final on the, our website later from this one. Now Piper hoping to stay perfect in 13 5 AD2 as it visits Veterans Memorial at Rutledge Stadium. Piper's Jake South lofts a pass to Jake Strachan. He finds a lane along the sideline before Ooh. he steps out near the 40. So close, but no worries. Piper pays, uh, pays it pays off later. Brady Hopper barrels in for the TD and it's Piper coming out on top 54 to 14. The Stevens Falcons and O'Connor Panthers are playing football at Ferris Stadium tonight. First quarter, Panthers QB Ryder Dorn throws to Luke Valdez for a sweet one-handed catch. Let's look again at half speed, one-handed snag by number three. Awesome. Moments later, Brandon Martinez takes the handoff. He finds pay dirt, 17 yards. The Panthers lead 14 to nothing. And the final from Ferris, O'Connor gets the dub, 28 to zip. Over at the Gust, the Taft Raiders are up 20 to six over Holmes. In the third quarter, the Raiders looking for more, but Zachary Gutierrez intercepts the pass at the one-yard line. Huge defensive play, and let's check out that score. Taft. 
beats Holmes by a final 36 to 6. Wow, okay, out at Harlan Memorial Stadium, both Jefferson and McCollum looking for their fifth win of the season. And after a red zone interception, the Cowboys drove all the way down the field and pushed quarterback Justin Rodriguez in for the touchdown. You'll see it right here. In the second quarter, Jeff responded by tossing it to Daniel Oriza, who sprints it in from three yards out. <clears throat> Jefferson comes out on top 28 to 14. Out to SAISD Sports Complex, Highlands hosting Lanier, and the Vokes had a 14 to nothing lead when we got there at halftime. Third and goal from the five yard line, QB run for Vincent Chacon, but he gets lit up by Ooh. Albert Perez Torres and Willie Gaskin. The Vokes would settle for a field goal to make it 17 to nothing and would go on to win it 38 to seven. Six and one, Antonian is back home for the first time since week three, taking on Houston St. Pius. First quarter, Apache's trailing. Jace Toscano lets one fly. It's a dime to Adan Samaliago, and the senior is in for the touchdown. That was one impressive play in the end. Antonian wins it 38. To 28. We've got plenty of action to go with the BGC road trip. Photog Sal made stops at Navarro High School, New Braunfels, New Braunfels Canyon High School for two district games. Yes, we've got those highlights and more scores, but of course, as always, let's listen to the Thomas Jefferson High School Marching Band before the break. <laughs> 